Jones patented the X-Gen vehicle, shown above this exhibit, as well as its engine. This vertical takeoff vehicle is powered by a 600-pound thrust Williams turbofan engine, very similar to those produced for the U.S. Navy Tomahawk cruise missile and the Air Force air-launched cruise missile. This next jet vehicle can take off vertically, accelerate up to at least 70 miles per hour, stop quickly, and turn rapidly. Since there are no exposed rotors, as in a helicopter, the X-Jet can fly close to buildings, under tree branches, and operate close to other personnel without the normal hazards of rotors. In order to lift the weight of the X-Jet pilot, fuel, and engine, it was necessary to develop a highly efficient turbofan engine that happened to have many of the characteristics needed to make long-range cruise missiles feasible. In the X-Jet, the high-velocity jet exhaust is directed downward to lift the vehicle vertically, with the thrust line passing through the center of gravity of the vehicle, including the pilot. By shifting his weight a few inches in the direction he wishes to move, the vehicle starts to roll in that direction, since the thrust line no longer passes through the center of gravity. This shift in thrust line causes the vehicle to start to move in the direction of his lead. The pilot's leaning inwards to maintain stability or to continue in a given direction are nearly imperceptible to the pilot. After practice, the vehicle feels very stable, and all pilot actions have a very natural feel. To speed up, the pilot leans forward. To slow down, he leans slightly backward, and soon hardly realizes his control influence. To rotate the vehicle, he twists the handle in his left hand. Veins in the exhaust cause the exhaust jet to swirl, providing the torque to rotate the vehicle. To go up or down, he twists the throttle handle in his right hand, which increases or decreases the engine thrust. As we continue to improve the thrust-to-weight ratio of small turbofan engines, the practicality and the lift capability of such vehicles will improve. Applications for the future include medical service, police, military, mountain rescue, forestry service, and many others. We believe that several more years of engine and vehicle development could lead to safe and practical applications.